We are 44 days away from the release of Shadow of War, and it's time that we talk about the Fiery Drakes. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss it. Well, I'm Hero887, your host, and I'm welcoming you to the countdown, a daily countdown, until the release of Shadow of War, bringing you daily content, daily discussions, and features in which we can expect in Shadow of War. Today, as I mentioned, we're going to talk about the fiery drakes as they were showcased for us in the gameplay release trailer we've also seen them in other clips terrorizing the craziness out of those poor uryx unsuspecting of the of the wrath of these dragons so monolith has confirmed that these new and powerful beasts are able to dominate and of course we've seen that and so it's kind of given at this point not only is this beast available for control and scripted sieges of war but also totally randomly available in the wilderness of the region that you're in so yes you can go dragon hunting at any time you that your heart desires it should be noted however that wild drakes don't take sides and attack potential threats on sight. Additionally, you must also be able to shoot them a few times to get them down to a lower amount of health to be able to tame them. Let's talk about that taming process a little bit more. Early game, you can't just jump onto the wild drake's neck on a whim and then have a heyday flying around and burning and pillaging the lives of the hopeless and helpless Eric's below, but you gotta do it the hard way. You got to take it down from the safety of the sky with ranged attacks and follow up with your domination powers, as I mentioned earlier. However, later as you progress, your wraith abilities will also progress. Um, and that's also with the storyline, too. So there might be some storyline unlockable things that you have to do through story missions and you can't do just on your own. However, I go to sus suspect that these wraith abilities will eventually get you to the point where you can basically shadow mount these drakes, which allows you to teleport and dominate a drake from a distance. This is something we've seen before in the gameplay, and it's something certainly we could do as we develop Celebrimbor's powers and upgrade them. So this would be a fantastic way, obviously, to quickly dominate a dragon. Um, I'm looking forward to that. What about you? What's your favorite feature of the drake? What do you plan to do with a fiery drake? Tell us uh, in the comments below if you would rather just tame a wild one and go crazy, or if you're going to actually plan to use it in a siege mission strategically. All right, well, that's about all I have today. Tomorrow we're going to talk more about drakes and the specific abilities they have. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Like this video if you enjoyed it so others can find it. And uh, hope to see you tomorrow. Without further ado, let's jump into some gameplay from Shadow of Mordor. We're getting near the end of the story, so stick around for that. I think you will enjoy it. Here we are back at the Black Gate. Uh, as we left off... We this killed Fast Foot, and us. now we're on our way to go into what the depths, while we have um, our good buddy here. Uh, which one are you? Ukram. Oh, the Bleeder Ukram, with the ambush against his enemies, deadly. That's always great. He's a fast runner. Oh, uh, I don't remember you very well. Must have gotten better last time when we looked at your stats from, who knows, some various missions? Can we climb this wall? No, I think we gotta go in up up this gate here. Dang damn it! What are we? Why is this complicated and things and stuff? Okay, we'll climb up here. Okay, so man, that last episode was exciting. I hope you enjoyed it. We faced off against a legendary grog. I know um, most of the time you guys are watching the playlists and stuff for the stuff, the Shadow of War, but you really gotta check out that previous episode if you didn't see it. Um, let's go ahead and watch cutscene though. If you're catching up, you might want to watch that before, but here we are here. Well, that's creepy. Who was... Who was that? I hope my soldiers gave you welcome. Where are you? Show yourself! This is the work of the tower. The Black Hand. Bow 
to me. And I will deliver you to the Dark Lord. Unspoiled. We bow to no one. <laughs> the Dark Lord forgives you, Celebrimbo. Return to him and cast off this human corpse. Stand up and fight. There's no need, Ranger. Celebrimbo is your curse. He chose you. Silence! And he can release you at any time. <laughs> yes, that's all you are, Ranger. A vessel. Very cool, and now we see a forerunner for the Trickster Tribe, as I believe. What joy it is to fight such Wait, where did he go? Because he does a teleport thing, you know? Such a okay, mind. they sneak. We'll sneak. We'll sneak. Oh, there he is. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh -oh. that's not good, boys and girls. <laughs> Teleportation. He's got a cool drain thing going on with his skiliosis. Is that him over there? Yeah, it's him over there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and stealth drain this fool. Stealth drain this fool. Okay, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. We've got seven minutes to do it, so... Uh, can we do it from up here? Nope, we gotta get... Gotta get up here, and uh, we're gonna go over here, and uh, okay. Stealth drain. Ha <laughs> ha! I got you back. I got you back. <laughs> Wait, why is there so many of them? Wait, there's like three or four of them at the same time. Attract? You have walked through the grave. <laughs> yeah, I got you again. But I don't understand why there's like three or four of them. And again. Hey, there's Until another one. I'm gonna get you. Tag! Got you again! <laughs> this is so much fun, this game. I like it. Oh, go to Lorith. Okay, okay. I hear my lady. What a beautiful song that is right there. Oh no, that's not who I thought it was. You will never see your family again. Hold the B button.
As rivers flow and waters flow, as ocean setting and board of coal. Well, that was interesting turn of events there. As we learn, Celebrimbor actually lied to Talion to use his human carcass, as it so was told. Yeah, I'd be a little upset about that too, especially if, you know, my soul was wandering as a half-dead, half-not dead living, yet, you know, cursed to life, never truly resting. You get the idea. But, as we know, there's a sequel. Italian Kelber and Boar obviously worked things out. Otherwise, we wouldn't have Shadow of War to come. Anyway, enjoy this story. I've been enjoying it. Let's see what else we got to have come up next. By the way, tell me if you think that fight was kind of lame, because I did. <laughs> I think, overall, that was a pretty easy lame fight. It was like, peekaboo, tag you. None is in flames. We must return to Queen Marwyn. The Black Hand has been here. Oh, apparently, the, the, our little castle's been under attack. So let's do a little fast travel. Marwyn is it. under Lothario. attack. Gotta go save Lothario. His new GF, sort of, kind of. She doesn't want to admit it. Did you see the way the look? she looked at him, though? She's all like, I'm not gonna admit that I like you. Hey, guys. Nice fire. That's great. Just you. Okay. All right, start this mission. All right, let's go here. I am not worth your vengeance, Father. Why do you fight? fight? We will be together soon. Well, it's never a good thing if Sauron knows where you are, right? Fantastic, so now we're getting to the very ends of the games. 
here. Uh, a lot more to complete, obviously, on the whole questing side. But let's not talk about that. Let's talk about what is up to come. I believe we're going to have to fight off a bunch of various war chiefs, and I've been saving the blades powers charged up ready to go to do some sweet awesome slaying action here very soon so i'm looking forward to that and if i'm not mistaken there's a way to even skip the upcoming battle i'm gonna have to look that up it kind of be kind of cool speed and expedite thing kind of do like speed run version see how fast i can't get past all of these fools um i believe there's like five or six of them at one time if i remember but um I believe I have to give credit to, credit to Urux Hollow, who came up with a way to speedrun past them. And even, like, adventure, from what I can understand, you can venture all the way around with the Karagor, if you can do kind of cool stuff near the end scene. So I'm kind of curious as to what he has to say about that. Uh, we're going to storm the Black Lord Gate. We're not there yet. Um, but here we go. Oh, yeah, fools. Okay, what am I, what am I missing my time up with you guys on, huh? Might as well run on to the Black Gate. There's my War Chiefs. Oh, and there's their War Chiefs. Yeah, here we are. We're here. We made it. The first talent of the hand. Alright, so here's what we're going to do, guys. We're actually going to cut scene here um, and come back in the following episode. That guy has an interesting uh, helmet. But either way, hope you enjoyed this episode and progression. A little bit more story, awesome epicness. And we're going to find the first town of the hand. I'm going to look up how to skip that and speed run it. Um, and come back with that episode to see how to do that. Make sure you come back and enjoy it. And if you enjoyed this video, do you think about uh, perhaps dropping a like for me? Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe, bringing you daily content. This is Hero 87, your host, signing off. Sayonara, sidekicks.